All right, Justin, please come home. We love you so much. There's a certain tone of resignation in Karen Craig's voice, almost as if she's given up on finding her son alive. It's been more than two weeks since 19-year-old Justin Craig disappeared. Four months ago, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He couldn't stand it, eh? The voices were so bad, he couldn't stand it. So, but you say, Mom, the, the voices are, I can't, you know, I can't stand it. And he'd start to cry, you know. Justin went missing last month, but he was later located hanging out at a downtown coffee shop. But this time he has no money, and he didn't take his medication with him. His mother fears the worst. He was suicidal at one point. He might have uh, jumped in the lake or something, you know, like, or, or, or hanged himself. That's my worst fear, you know. Karen knows a lot about schizophrenia. She's been living with it most of her adult life. I'm on medication and it's it's under control. The number of people affected by schizophrenia, one out of every hundred. Sonny Hildebrand from the BC Schizophrenia Society in Kelowna says seeing a mother and son suffering from the same illness Very is not surprising. Way. It can run in the family. It's a genetic to some extent, but it also can be caused by a virus that the mother is, when she's carrying the fetus, it can uh, strike her and it goes into the placenta through to the fetus. She says it's also not uncommon for young schizophrenia patients like Justin to simply disappear. I'm not saying that's what's happened to him, but a lot of them do just take off and wander all over the country. And Hildebrand can relate to Karen's pain. One of her three sons also suffers from schizophrenia. Terrible for the person who has the illness, but it's equally terrible for the parents or the relatives. In Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.